Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the committee. My name is Lewis Miller. I'm a resident in Rochester, New Hampshire. Uh, I'd like to begin by thanking the Honorable Mr. Lambert, Mr. Moose, Mr. Warden for their introduction and sponsorship of House Bill 1531 and to the New Hampshire House Representatives and Committee for Criminal Justice Public Safety for the opportunity to speak today in support of this amendment to RSA 262 Chapter 2. New Hampshire has a proud tradition of respecting individual liberty. And this was the most important factor for deciding to move my family here and become residents of this state. When he wrote On Liberty in 1859, John Stuart Mill understood keenly that the sole motivating principle of a government that respects individual liberty is that the only purpose for which power can be rightfully exercised over any member of a civilized community is to prevent harm to others, and that no one should be forcibly prevented from acting in any way he chooses, provided that his acts are not invasive of the free acts of others. This is the self-same principle of liberty upon which the governments of the United States and the state of New Hampshire were founded. It is the infliction of harm upon another person that makes an action wrong. And it should be the sole focus of our, our government to protect the liberty of the people and the victim, victims of crime. I believe that House, House Bill 1531 achieves this purpose admirably. If there's no individual victim who can be shown to have suffered demonstrable harm, then there is no crime. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. If I understand under this bill, if I wanted to have a member of this committee killed because they asked too many questions in hearings, <laughs> and I thought I was talking with a hitman, but instead I was talking to an undercover police officer, the officer could not arrest me for planning this murder because there was no victim. But if I did contract with a hitman and had somebody in this committee killed for asking too many questions, then they could charge me. Is that correct? <laughs> I believe that, that 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 would constitute the direct threat of harm to an individual and then there could be shown to, a, to be a victim of that. Thank you. Thank you very much. You have written testimony? I, I do.